Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and we are driving to the airport. I did not sleep. The car is very, very full because we're practicing for Kenya, where this is always how full the car is, except there's more people with that kind of stuff that Diana has in the back. All of the same stuff plus more people. There'll be three more kids and four more adults with maybe a couple more bags than what you see back there. So we have to start practicing now. There is the most comfortable bag here. Yeah, he just has the same amount of room he always has. Yeah. It's like a force field around him with his car seat. That's the one thing that's not normal. Usually they uh, usually they just hold the baby in the back seat. We actually got comments on some of our earlier videos from Kenyans saying, why are you putting the baby in a car seat? He's too young. He's gonna get hurt. We'll see you soon. Our first leg is New York, JFK, and we're leaving from Detroit, DTW. We just landed in JFK. So we're still at JFK. Our flight is taking off right now. That's how I feel. We are not on it. Oh my gosh, and Zuri is just having like a. Zuri is just going crazy here. This was crazy. Now I have to. We have so many things we have to cancel. We, we, like, everything just, is. Everything, everything is, is just, so like, messed upside up. Down. Like I just. Yeah, we we feel like this. We'll fill you in more in a little bit, but we wanted to just give you an in the moment yeah. update while we're completely dead. I feel like I want I want to cry. I just all right. I don't even know what I want to do right now. I just want to cry. So let me explain to you what exactly happened. As of January 1st, 2024, Kenya is a visa-free country. So we didn't pay too much attention going into the government website and checking in, like, is it really a visa-free country or is there something else you need to get? So we just showed up at the airport and we were told Aitan and Zuri cannot be able to board the flight because they don't have something called ETA, authorization to travel to Kenya. And that's when our problem started and we had to turn around and go back because I cannot just travel by myself without Zuri and Eitan. Here's all of our bags, plus what I'm holding, plus what she's got, plus the car seat and the wagon and another stroller. Where's the other stroller? Is it on here? What stroller? Oh, did you forget the stroller? Yep. Oh my God, yeah. Okay, on the stroller. Oh gosh. So, we got all that stuff, and we have no plan at all. Oh, and sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my gosh, it's on the go. We have no plan at all, and that's normally fine. It's just that I am running on 20 minutes of sleep for the last two days, and that just makes it a little bit hard to function properly. So, we're going to keep moving forward towards some semblance of a situation that will allow me to be horizontal and we will make this work. Finished getting all of our bags and I just want to get out of here. God, this has been like insane day. <laughs> Hi, Zuri. This one and I and this one, we're going to take an air train. We got a room at Comfort Inn and they have airport drop-offs and pickups so we were so lucky that they came to pick us up from the airport. 
So this is our hotel. Hi Zuri. Yeah, Zuri is like breaking in the hotel. So all this stuff is all here. Eitan running on two hours of sleep. Hello. Not two hours of sleep. What is it? 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Aiton's gonna order us food. And then we don't know how we're gonna how long we're gonna be here for <laughs> until Kenya Kenya decides to give us a visa. Right, Zuri? Zuri's like, okay. We came to the main lobby to check the hotel breakfast and all they had served that day was just snacks everything just carbs um they had uh i think a uh, bagel a muffin and just orange juice and uh, i don't think that's the best day way we wanted to start our day so we can't eat that so we just gonna head back and just have coffee and maybe the orange juice Okay, round two. Let's try it. Okay. Are we gonna come back here or are we gonna go to Kenya? Let's try this again. Yeah, we don't know. Finally, we have the right documents and we checked in and everything went smoothly and now we're in the plane going to Kenya. It's a 13 hour flight. One day late and finally we're in Nairobi. One huge lesson we've learned from this is any country you're planning to visit, make sure you go to their official government website and just check on all the requirements, everything you'll need to just have an easy process with a visa. All right, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you actually learned something from here. Bye for now. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got it.